So for today's hunt, I really wanted to focus on trying to fill more of the small plaques in the trophy lodge with basically any animals that aren't ducks because we have so many ducks in the lodge and I just want to get some more variety. So I thought we'd come to Parquet. I actually spent a good amount of this week on this map like in multiplayer and I really enjoyed it. But what I didn't really focus on were Axis Deer and Black Buck. I mostly was looking at Water Buffalo and Puma because Puma are one of the species that we actually don't have any diamonds in the trophy lodge of. But we're kind of sitting here apparently getting charged by a water buffalo. And the axis deer that we spook should come around the edge here and we can kind of see what's out here. But I want to focus on them and black buck and I mean like I said, uh, we don't have a diamond puma in the lodge. So as we hunt specifically the axis deer in the morning, we should actually have the pumas in their drink zones. And we can maybe kind of look for them as well, but we'll probably try to get two or three axis deer out of here if we can. It's the spot that I've shown many times if you run around the edge of the lake, kind of all the animals sort of head across over here. And especially if you're using something like the Mosin and you're shooting these smaller animals, you can really easily take them out with very little uh, trouble. I think that shot might have been a little bit back, but even he's going to go down and he'll be good for respawns. But I think we are also going to have to deal with this. That'll probably be good enough to not waste ammo. And then we'll hop down and grab all this stuff. And I think we're probably just going to go like up through here and then go into the dead forest area. Because there are a lot of axis deer up there and I don't know that I've hunted them up there in a while. But it was definitely good to get this guy because he's a max weight estimate one. And at least we're not going to be tracking that all around at some point and maybe he can be good for a respawn. Then this one dropped right over here and then... I'm not sure how far that other three made it, but it couldn't have been too far. And I think it could have been a potential gold this one was and had the same antlers. So that's probably a little bit unfortunate that we hit too far back. And we were like just behind the liver, but he definitely would have been a gold. So that's a little bit unfortunate that we lost out on that. But we got the two bigger ones, actually. I think that might be actually our best option up here. I really thought there'd be more. We can maybe get both of them, although that guy's not really running the best direction to do it. It'll at least be good to have the respawns, but last time I came up here, because I have actually been kind of working on grinding for axis deer here and there, last time I came up here there was a huge herd of them. I don't know if maybe they haven't all respawned, or maybe it was just a couple of does that I saw and just these guys. But I mean, as I said, it's going to be good for respawns in the future anyway, and at least there's no tracking involved. That guy's at least a little better, so guaranteed gold since he's a four, and I don't think there's any others around. So we'll just drop him and then kind of watch and make sure no access to your come out of there. But it is actually 6.15 now, so Puma should be moving into their drink zones, and we can maybe look at them a little bit as we go, but I want to go across here and at least get to this lake, because I know access to your go over there, and that's not a lake that I've been to as much lately. So yeah, decent little gold on him anyway. And I do think we're probably going to go back to this tent and stay on this side. Because any axis deer that are at this lake usually are on this side. And we're probably... Huh. That's not a diamond, but... I guess shooting the occasional red deer has kind of worked out. Uh, we'll probably um, want to be on this side so we can claim them. That is going to be a vertebrae hit. Um, actually, maybe we got down through a lung because he started to drop really quickly. I know that's a troll, so there's not much point in getting super excited about that. That is not a rack that can make diamond. But, I mean, it's cool to see that the respawns are kind of working. And I guess the black buck feed zone in this area is kind of back. Because the whole thing with the zones getting shifted around, this used to be, like, right down in this little valley, a really common spot for a black buck to feed. But I do think that kind of went away. And it's good to see they're maybe kind of back in this area. And since that's a max weight one, he's actually giving us a good shot. We'll go ahead and take him too. But we'll grab our troll red deer and at least see if we made a decent shot. Those antlers look weird to me. I'm really not a fan of that particular rack. But somehow we just got into the top and back of the lung there. So at least we didn't mess it up, but... Yeah, as expected, just a troll. And this guy, like I said... Another max weight estimate, one that I definitely want to bring down for respawns, but decent gold, I guess. This is kind of the thing with hunting axis deer in their drink time. Like, once you get to 6am, 
I mean, Puma are drinking, which can be good since we're actually looking for a diamond one of those as well. But they also end up spooking all your Axis deer, so there's an entire herd of them, and all their tracks are like up through here. And whether it was the fact that I spooked the two Pumas that ran down through here and they spooked the Axis deer, or if they spooked them first, I don't know. But either way, before I ever got to see the Axis deer, the Puma went through there and spooked them out, so that's kind of the one negative, but I mean, again, we are actually trying to get a diamond one of those, so I can't complain about them being there. I will say, I haven't seen any max weight tracks from the Axis deer, so I don't think we're actually missing out on any big ones, but even still, just for the respawns, it would be nice to be able to get them, so I mean, that's why I try to start, like, right at 5am, because Axis deer drink 4 to 8, they're like Gemsbug, and you can get a little bit of time there where Pumas aren't out and active, but it's not long before they are, but we'll at least chase these down to this hill and maybe see if there's anything good that we haven't gotten a track from. I mean, there is that guy, which, again, would be a guaranteed gold at level 4. So we'll probably try to get him. I'm not sure that we'll actually get the gold, because when they're running straight away, you kind of got to get that next shot. But we know with the Mosin, he'll go down if we can get him. And, I mean, I don't see a better shot angle. Unfortunately, that's not going to be it. We can maybe save it if he ends up kind of doing that and staying broadside. Or even facing us is fine. I don't know why they turned around, but it might help us. Probably too far back still, but at least it's going to get him down sooner. And we were actually pretty far off even with the first shot, but the second one wasn't even remotely close. But I mean, it's good we got one of those for a respawn after the Puma spooked them. I think that's the old, like, small diamond rack, level 4, which he's definitely the biggest one we've seen, so uh, we want to get him, and we're going to have to hurry, because there must have been a Puma over there somewhere, and I mean, that's exactly what happens. It's just going to be part of it, but it can be slightly annoying when you don't even get to spot everything else. Honestly, I'm really happy with that shot. I didn't think we'd get it, but... We'll probably try to save on hunting pressure and not overdo it. Kind of surprised she's still there, but you can kind of see why they were spooking with that female puma drinking over there. Ooh. Man, I don't know. There might be a puma over there, too, because he's going attentive. So I'm probably going to try to get that before anything happens. I think that was the big rack, actually. So we might have a guaranteed diamond. I really can never tell with those. I didn't noticed it when I spotted them because they kind of look similar to like the level threes that have that bend in the antlers. I'm trying to because we just shot that big rack four. I'm pretty sure that was the other rack which the only diamond access deer I have is only about two above the minimum for diamond and he's big rack so I can't say with certainty that this is a guaranteed diamond but I've also seen that like small rack that we shot on the floor can make diamonds, so I have to think we should be good if that's the rack I think it is. But there was just no way I was letting him maybe flee if there was a puma in the area. Because he was standing so nice and broadside, and we just made a shot way further, but that is absolutely the bigger rack shape for a level 5 axis deer. So I really hope he makes it. Like I said, I can't be 100% sure that it is guaranteed, but I think it should be. And at least for this guy it is. He's actually not diamond by much again. He's literally three above the requirement. But he made it, and he'll actually be only our second diamond access deer in the new trophy line. So that's actually cool. Pretty decent heart shot without going for that as well. And we'll actually get to fill one of the small plaques today with something that's not a duck. So I'm really happy with that. And then we got a nice four over here too. And actually this one, which we managed to double lung liver on the trot at like 260 meters, so that wasn't too bad. If anything, we could have let him a little bit more. But then this guy, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the small diamond rack. Kind of hard to tell at 350 meters or whatever he was, or 250. But yeah, um, he's only about 2 kilos lower than the diamond that we shot, and he's 10 below diamond, so that rack probably can make it. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. That's a nice mule deer, and I'm really not sure that I've shot that many mule deer down here. And basically, my plan for the rest of this hunt is to just focus on black buck, but that is definitely one I want to take, because 
I mean, he's 268, which is very solid. And, I mean, right now, Mule Deer are very rarely actually getting to level 5, so that's one of the best ones I've seen since they were, like, spawning at level 6 and 7. I mean, the good thing about that guy being over there is he's actually pretty much right by the tent, so if we get him... We can kind of just fast travel back and claim him really quickly. That had to be, because we took a shot there, that had to be one of the cases where he was too close to the tent and didn't spawn since we fast traveled there. But luckily he didn't spook and we could get him kind of on our way over here. Ooh. That is a 5, but there are tons of troll level 5 black buck. And I think that is the small horns, which I'm really not sure if they even can make diamond. I can't think of any screenshots of any that I've seen that made it. But we'll definitely take that seriously and at least try to make a good shot, but we may just do it from here because I know from experience, going over to that area, it seems like it's nice and open, and then it turns out that it's more difficult to actually see than it would seem. So if we can get somewhere where we can get a good angle on him, even here's probably fine. Just try to drop that down into his lung. I mean, I think it's small horns. If it was big horns, we definitely would have gotten closer. But I'm not too worried about messing up what I think is actually another troll. So we've seen three different species max level today. I could be wrong, but I think two of them are going to end up being trolls. But really, this lake treated us quite well. If you want to see, it's this one kind of middle south. And it's always been good for mule deer and black buck. But I didn't come down here expecting to really get much. I just kind of wanted to go to a place where I knew there'd be black buck to talk about planning on hunting black buck for the rest of this. But that's definitely not a bad level 4 mule deer. And I probably don't want to fast travel now just in case we got out of render of the other one. I don't think we did. We'll probably do it. I think it's okay. And just in case you're wondering, like, why I didn't want to fast travel, sometimes if you shoot an animal and then leave render of where they died at, fast traveling can make their body essentially just disappear. And that is actually exactly what happened with this one. So if we hit confirm trophy right here, it would actually crash the game. So I'm hoping that didn't happen with the five, which we would have been closer to. So maybe it's less likely that that actually happened with him. I don't know, he died somewhere nearby. Okay, I can actually see him. So at least the one that potentially could be a diamond isn't gonna crash our game. And I think he's actually a dark fur type. So it would be really cool if he made it. But yeah, he is a gold. I mean, 49.05 is close. He needed to be 0.2 higher. I really don't know if these horns can make diamond. If you guys know, uh, definitely drop it in the comments because I'd like to get like a smaller horns diamond one along with the bigger horns, just to have like that variance in the lodge. But I think I want to try this lake. I just noticed that there is a black buck drink zone down here recently, so we'll see if there's anything interesting here. I mean, there's that. Just spooked him, unfortunately. Didn't realize the wind was bad, but. I mean, he's not huge. Probably not one I'm going to keep. But if we can get a shot through here. I think we hit a decent. He's going down kind of fast, so maybe we got, like, liver. Like I said, not one we're going to keep, because I've already got one of those mounted. And I don't think the level 3s really make gold that often anymore. But that's not usually where I see them. They're usually more, like, over in this area. I mean, there is one over there. So I guess we're heading over there anyway. We might as well try to get him. Then at least we have more of a reason to go around here. So we were a good bit too far back on that leucistic, but he was actually just a silver to begin with and actually a decent amount below gold. But I've got a leucistic silver on the wall that I want to replace eventually already, hopefully with a gold one. So I'm not too worried about that. And the good thing is we actually got one extra one for respawns down here, but... I think probably the last spot we're going to go to for this hunt is down here. Because I haven't really focused on Black Buck in this area at all lately. And I guess the reason why is because there's not really any over here. The only track I can find is from this one female. So we'll probably try to go to one other spot because we've got a couple of water buffalo charging us and it's probably not worth it. We could actually try here. They used to drink there. I don't know what they do with the zones being moved around. Well, there's that guy anyway. We'll back up a little bit just to see if anything else like kind of renders in. 
because of the same thing like down at that last lake where if you fast travel and you're too close, sometimes the animals don't appear. But I don't think that's the case. I think we just have one solo mule deer here, so I suppose we're going to end with that. Unless, is that one any bigger? I guess technically he is, so we'll end with maybe both. I think we'll probably call that good. I mean, at the very least, we actually got some mule deer respawns done. We ended up killing three of them when we're not really after them. I don't know where it came from, but there was just a black buck call, so maybe we'll go up here a little bit and see if there are any over here. I really have no idea where that called from, but I came back here and there's a red deer at least nervous over here, so I guess we'll get him. Or at least hopefully get him, but I'm pretty sure that'll be into a lung and it'll be a bonus harvest, and I guess don't know where that came from, but maybe two bonus harvests. But yeah, I mean, like I said, we actually started to get decent progress on mule deer by shooting that many. And as I said when we shot the big one, it seems really, really rare that they're actually spawning, like, or respawning, I guess, as level fives. So who knows if that's actually going to really help us out, but it can happen. People have gotten them, so there's definitely a chance. And as far as the red deer go, I mean, we had a level nine today, so that definitely can help us out. And Hopefully we can get a proper diamond and have, I think, a fourth true rack diamond in the lodge. I kind of want to get rid of that first one because it had the two different rack shapes and it just looked really weird. So I wouldn't mind getting another one to actually replace that, but at least we got a couple of bonus kills for respawns. And we do have to head back to the trophy lodge and actually throw that axis deer in there. And I definitely think this little room in here is the one that has like the most just empty small plaques. So I figured we'd put them in here and... It's good to get another diamond axis tier in the trophy lodge, because, like I said, this is only the second one. And at some point, like, I guess it was when they did the new scoring system, diamond axis tier actually became kind of rare, so it's cool to get another one and kind of have that in the lodge as well. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.